Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Marcus. I'm uh, Ryan. And together, we, we are, are the Northwest Sports Fanatics. Back at you with a new video. We thought we ran out of time, but guess what? We got time for an NFC South matchup. The Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for all you Panther fans out there. Hey, man, my guy Cam Newton is playing at an MVP level this year. And, of course, we got my guy Fitzmagic back at the helm for the Bucks. Right. So Carolina has been hot. The yes. Bucks have been struggling, deciding with what leadership role they want to go to. Ryan Fitzmagic, Fitzpatrick, or Jameis Winston. Yep. So we had Fitzmagic for the first few games. Then he got benched. Then they had Jameis for a few Jameis games. Jameis came back. Right, and then now we're back to Fitzmagic, and we have to wait and see what kind of team the Buccaneers are going to be moving forward. All right, but before we get into these highlights, let's subscribe to our channel. Hit the thumbs up for your boy. And let's get into this NFC South matchup between the rivals, Carolina Panthers versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hey, South with three Fs. Three Fs. South. South. Let's get it. All right, Fitz. All right, Fitz Magic. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So uh, to let everyone hey. know, obviously most people will see you with the Redskin gear on. So right. obviously they know you're the Redskin fan. I don't wear Tampa Bay Buccaneers games uh, gear every video, but Tampa Bay Buccaneers are my team. Yep. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to root for a team, you know, that hasn't been to the playoffs since 2007. You know, the top you know, with the organization, I'm not really a big fan of the – the owner and the coaching staff and the OC, GM. you know, the GM. But I do like a few players on the team. Um, but to start out the gates right there, I can't really get mad at Ryan Fitzmagic. Right. The Panthers made a great play. I mean, if, if Ryan Fitzpatrick's going to overthrow a ball, right, and they're in a good position. You got to make that play. Going to make that play. And, you know, the Panthers have been playing great. I mean, bottom line. Especially on, on defense. Yeah, he, Fitzmagic let that one sail. That, that thing sailed on him, man. So we got to see how he bounced back the rest of this game. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm a fan of Luke Keekley. I'm a fan of Cam Newton. I'm a the, fan of McCaffrey. The Panthers brought out the black on black. Touchdown, Panthers. Hashtag went, went keep with the full pounding. They're an unstoppable force. Third and 15. People are sleeping on the Panthers a little bit. Ooh. Oh. Skirt. Okay. Hey, hey. That's how you go. Skirt, skirt. That might be the only highlight for the Buccaneers today. Man, that got, was a pretty good one. He got that first down, man. Third yeah. and 15. It's that fight. Third and two. All right. First down. Where you? Bro, he's not open. Who are you throwing to? He was not open at all. You ready? Let's go, Cam. All right, Cam. Woo. Wow. Oh, Ooh, what a play. play. Wow. Make that oh. tackle. Whoa. So, so real quick, so I know hey. I know Todd Gurley, the illest running back alive in the world, gets a lot of pub, right? Kamara. Alvin Kamara gets a lot of love. Hunt. Kareem Hunt gets a lot of love. We haven't really seen Zeke to Zeke standards, but I think a lot of people, you know, maybe not Panther fans that are watching our videos, people are sleeping on Cam Newton and Christian McCaffrey this season. Hey, the, with, the, with the wave of the running back position, the way it's going now, not only you have to be able to run the ball, but you be, have to be able to catch as well. A dual threat. Yes. And this guy right here, this is big facts. He's probably the best route running running back I have ever seen. And that's big facts. And I watched him at Stanford, you know, because obviously I'm an Oregon fan. I go to a lot of games in Eugene. And I seen him firsthand right. a couple years ago. He had three touchdowns, I think, in the first quarter against Oregon. And like you said, elite route running. Elite. Elite hands. And his athleticism, if it was a scale to zero to 100, it's 101. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he got he got the good genes from his dad, Ed. He got the good genes. Yeah, believe that. <laughs> Let's see that hurdle again, man. He's amazing. Look at this play, though. So much misdirection. Look, I thought he had him. Unbelievable. I said, okay, he's going to make a yards play. after. And then look, there's the, the, the speed. Juke. First down, Panthers. Unbelievable. I love it. Oh, we get to see a replay. A little slow motion. Watch all this misdirection. Look, uh, uh, that way. Nope, we coming back Great. this way. I thought he had him right here. Woo! One of the best hurdles I've seen. Good block by Funches downfield, too. Triangle button for days. 
on that PS4. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, DJ. Uh oh, there's our guy. DJ. Let's go. More. Look. look. Oh my gosh, he's a first down. Hey, Gr hey Grimes, low man's win, Grimes. Yep. Stop trying to tackle people up by their neck, man. Look at this play. Panthers play hey. calling has been through the roof. Look, look the at him break month. that tackle. This guy's a running back. Watch this, Grimes. Hey, Grimes. Hey, Grimes. Low man wins, uh -oh. my guy. Touchdown, Panthers. And you know who's calling the plays for the Panthers. Who that? Who is it? That North. Damn right. That North. And he's doing a great job. Okay. We need to get something going now, Fitz. We need to get something going, Fitz. Oh, make a miss. All right. Make nice a miss. Scoop. He got the first. Third and two. He's open. All right, red zone. Oh, good play fake. Okay, OJ, get in there. Touchdown, box. Hey, what the answer the bell, man? I know that phone was ringing like, hello, hello, Tampa, you there? Yeah. They oh, answered it. OJ Howard. First six. Wow. Dude, he's so comfortable and, and relaxed in that pocket now. Yep. Look at that. Get that out of his hands quick. You got to give credit where credit's hey. due with that O-line for the Future Panthers Future Hall of Famer, 88. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the Oh, trickery. did they do a double reverse? Trickery. Look at the blocking oh, downfield. Get loose then. Oh, my Woo! goodness. Oh, somebody tackle this man. No way. No way. Wow. Stop it. Hey. Hey. So, number one, <laughs> right, the Panthers' offense, when it's running with Norv, is one of the best in the league, right? Number two, the Bucks have one of the worst defenses in the league, but no complaints. You would have ran that on any of the other 31 teams. Chances are you would have scored a touchdown. That was beautiful. Hey, that was a beautiful play design. I don't know what's going on with Norv today, man. He's in his bag. And they ain't talking about bag of money, his bag of tricks. Right. I think, honestly, with the Panthers, right, and Riverboat Ron, they feel – it's stop. It's a time to stop being disrespected. Rams, right? You hear Saints, and then you hear you know the Packers, right. and you hear you know all the other teams. But nobody is talking about the Carolina Panthers. You know they're like, oh, maybe they're just a wild card <laughs> team, and then they'll get bumped. You know, but yeah, I'm not sure right. if this is just a wild hey, they, card team. They got their leaders back, man. They got Olsen back at the tight end. Give Cam that weapon in the middle of the field. But doesn't and, it and doesn't it kind of TV feel like that Super Bowl year team? It kind of has that. Ain't nobody talking about them. You know what I mean? Kind of flying it, under the radar. And obviously a lot of other fans and right. experts think the Rams and the Saints are, quote, unquote, so much better. But if you look at the team overall, offense, defense, special teams, the Panthers' D to me, has been playing better than the Saints and the Rams all year long. And, and I believe they are right? on a, I want to say, a three-game winning streak. Correct me if I'm wrong, Panthers fans. And, and, and Cam has six touchdowns, no interceptions, and a passer rating of, I believe, 114 the last three games. So right. we got to definitely – they're on a, a, a fast track now. Good right. start. So let's definitely see if they can keep it up. Yep. That was a great play, though. Sam, you doing what he do best. We seen him do that at Ohio State. Are right. you surprised? Right. I'm not. I seen him get loose like this. Right. Rams run trick plays. The Saints run trick plays. Guess what? Norv's like, the Panthers can run the trick plays just as good as you guys. Look at the blocking Look at downfield. Cam out there. Look, Cam ran out of bounds. Unbelievable. Oh, look at that cut right there. The 10, the 5. Come on, Tampa, sit down. You know it's a touchdown. Panthers. Oh, watch out. The jailbreak. Hey, oh. you, it's 12 noon. You know what time it is. It's time for a sack lunch. Yum, yum, yum. Panthers be eating some Bojangles. Uh, they got the Bojangles? Yeah. Uh-oh, look at that patience. Get that tackle. Woo! Hit the edge then. Woo! You got to be kidding me, man. Unbelievable. Hey, I know my man good, but... Bruh. But when you have a, a horrible defense like the Come Bucks, on, like my bruh. Bucks out there, man, he just he's just he bruh. just icing them up, man. There, there's no way, bro. No way. I'm sorry. Look at the jukes, though. Okay. Make the tackle. Look, look right here. Right Get here. Get him. Push him out. Where is he? Where right, is he? Right oh, whoa. Hey, 21 Evans. Wow. Good Who's hustle. Stopping that. Good hustle. Who's that? Bow Island with the hustle. Good hustle to make that Red tackle. Red zone attempt. Panthers. There you go. Touchdown, oh, they, they Panthers. Salute to the O-line. They're playing great today. Hey, that, that, that boy, 22, Deuce Deuce, he's special. Yep. <laughs> he's a special one. Run oh, CNC. what? What? <laughs> Bro, 
Dog, what? What? Bro, look! Look at this fake. This is the don't, look. What the? Good teams find a way to win. Bad teams find a way to lose, and that's a great example of the Buccaneers finding a way to lose. Woo! Nice play, Panthers. Hey, Funches, hands, team. He definitely pulled that thing in. Woo! Touchdown, Panthers! I got it. <laughs> yeah? Wow, look at that thing! Wow. Right down the middle. Third yeah. and goal from the 15, bro, and you give up a touchdown. Yeah. All right, let's go, Fitz. You got some magic? There we go. Oh, Adam Chains. Humphreys, first down. Down Buck. 28. Fitz magic. Surveys. Woo! Nice pass. Hey, that was a cannon right there. Red cannon. zone attempt for Fitzpatrick. Ooh, a little spin move. A little okey doke. Okay. Hey, Play with some passion hey, there. Hey, Fitzpatrick. I love your fight, my guy. Red zone attempt. Fitzpatrick. Get there. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Okay, OJ. OJ Howard. OJ the Juice Man. Hey. Hey. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. 12 noon for the Bucks. You know what time it is. Sack lunch. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Oh, that was 30. That was a tough one. We needed that. Woo. Woo. Who's blowing up stuff like that? <laughs> hey. Whoa. 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 No, no, no. They they might not got a lot of highlights, but that definitely deserves a, 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 a run that back. Is that Bo Allen? Watch he blow this thing up. Boom! Yeah. Woo! Let's go! Yeah. I just wish I could get some consistency out of the Bucks with plays like that. That should energize you right there. Okay, top five alert. Number 13 in Bucks. I don't care what you say. Woo, good oh. move. Get loose. Oh, man. Oh, is that Peyton Barber? Yeah, nice, nice hey. run. Uh oh. Get loose, Deshaun. Third and eight. Nice. Nice throw. Nice. First down. But why is it three receivers over there, dude? Bucks. Oh, he's open. I seen that. Touchdown. Okay. Buccaneers. They down 14. How much magic do you got, Fitz? Oh, you can't stop that, man. That's a Hall of Famer right there. Play fake. Cam surveys. Oh, go deep in Cam. There he is. Nice hey, grab. each week he's getting better and better. Getting more and more involved in the offense. Okay. You need to stop. Oh, nice tackle. Okay, you back in this, Wody. Like I'm from New Orleans. Watch your back. Yum, 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 yum. 12 no. Oh, oh fumble. <laughs> he coughed it up. Hey, you got to protect this blind side, bruh. Third and 17. Get rid of that. Just let it go then. Wow. Fourth quarter. That's how you do not defend the third and 17. Yeah. Wow. He was just sitting over there on the sidelines just chilling like, hey. Yeah. Wow. Every lu lucky dog has his day, though. Ooh. Go get it then, OJ. Orange juice. Nice, nice grab. The juice, man. Is he Sunny D or, or regular OJ? <laughs> he's pulp, a, pulp or no pulp? <laughs> Extra pulp. Oh! oh! Let's go. Touchdown. Look at it. Bye. Hey. Hey. Great effort. Look how that man's fighting. Yep. Oh, that's touchdown. Yeah. Adam Humphreys. Look how that man is fighting. He's been pretty quiet this year. Nice to see him get get some receptions and get in the end zone. Get him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Woo! Hit him with a spin cycle. Watch those clothes twice. Do -do 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 -do. You've now <laughs> entered the twilight zone. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Nice open. pass. Hall of Famer. Yak, yak, yak. Get them yak. Yak, yak, yak. Yaks for days. Uh-oh. Woo. Like he almost tore ACL. Yeah, Cam. that was kind of an awkward, Ooh, uh, awkward slide there. Cam. Deep. Woo. Touchdown, Panthers. What a play. Pouring it on. 
Let's go, Fitz. Ooh, bad throw. Great interception. Underthrow, underthrow that ball. Bro, how can you underthrow Deshaun Jackson? I don't know. Oh, there he is. He's loose again. Okay, Cam. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, you know, uh, the Panthers played great like I figured they would. Right. And the Buccaneers had spurts of playing well, but bad teams find a way to lose. You know, you know, with the was it the the fourth down fake punt? You know, I mean, it, when you're on your in your own, own like, they was like inside their own thirty. Yeah, like, well, stupid. You know well. what I mean? But like I said, the Panthers are a great team. The Buccaneers are not. The Panthers shouldn't have lost that game. They didn't. So final score: the Carolina Panthers forty-two, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers twenty-eight. Hey man, I appreciate the fight for the, for the, for the Bucks to 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 make a little bit of a, of a game out of it, but. Yeah. We, we wish we would have seen that fight the whole game, man. Right. Well, first off, Ryan Fitzmagic should have never got benched, right? Number Big two, facts. Big facts. Number two, right? Dirk Cutter needs to go. He's not a coach that needs to be there. Big facts. All right. The D is underperforming. That's, a, That's an understatement, <laughs> right? The worst in the league. Yeah, you know what I mean? So league, things man. need to really change. You know, I know we saw an article today about Bruce Arians talking about how the only team he would come back you know, for a coaching would be the, the Browns. Cleveland Browns. Yeah. God, if we could get a coach like that to come in and re-energize the the whole you know franchise, that's what they need. Like what what I see with the Bucks is is it's like they got players. You 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 can go to each level: offense, wide receiver, O line, running back, quarterback, right. D line, linebacker, safety, cornerback. You got capable players. To me, it just seems like the the fit in the scheme. The coaching is, is just right. not there. Right. They don't have Mr. Miyagi. All <laughs> right. right. Wax on, wax on. Not for Daniel Song. All right. They're, they are not on a, an elite level. But the Panthers are. Yes. Let's yes. talk about Cam Newton. All right. Superman Cam. Check this out. Better and better and better every week. 19 for 25. Let's wow. go. 247 yards, two TDs, zero picks, 11 carries, 33 yards. When Cam Newton does not turn the ball over and throw a lot of interceptions or right. fumble the ball away, and Christian McCaffrey runs like Christian McCaffrey, yep. runs CMC, they don't lose the game. Nope, they don't they lose don't. the game. And, and another thing that's scary is the, um, they got these 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 two wideouts that they drafted the last two years, num number 10, Samuel, right. and uh, DJ Moore. Yep. They starting to get more, uh, 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 becoming more productive in that offense, and they're getting the ball more, and now you can see what they can do when they got the balls in their hands, man. Them two special elite talents right. with the ball in their hands. All right. Kelvin Benjamin is starting to become a forgotten name. Who? See? Oh. Not that fast. Okay. Run CMC, Christian McCaffrey, 17 carries, 79 yards, two touchdowns, hurdles, jukes, spin moves, stiff arms. He does it all. Elite. Right? And then on top of that, five receptions, 78 yards. Wow. I mean, he's really I starting to become a amazing dual threat. And as far as running backs are concerned, yep. right, is, is he going to go down as maybe the best Caucasian white running back of all time? Hey, I mean, this is I mean, this is something to really think about because he runs just like all the elites, like the right. Gurleys and the Camaras. It's like you almost aren't – it's not you're not used to seeing like a white running back, Caucasian running back run with that kind of elusiveness, and that, that, that athleticism, kind of speed, that right? kind of athleticism. Hey, if he's not, then he's definitely on his way to becoming the best. I mean, we had like John Riggins, right, from the Redskins in the yeah, past, Rigo, right? You had Mike Allstott, Allstott you know, but this is Merle a different. Hodge, but th those are kind of more of a fullback kind of than than the just straight right. up running backs. Right. It's amazing to see. You know what I mean? And the the crazy thing is for Panther fans and you know it too, he hasn't even reached the the even the tip of the potential nope. of where he's gonna be and where he's gonna go. Yep. I mean I love it. Curtis Samuel, you mentioned him, right? One carry, thirty three yards, one touchdown. Okay. I would say that's pretty good. That's pretty they, good. They'd be doing reverses, double reverses, any type of flea flickers, any kind of trick plays they can throw out of the bag, right? And then on top of that, two receptions 25 yards and another touchdown. Hey, man, that dude is exciting, man. I think he was hurt all last year. But all you got to do is go put on this tape for him back in Ohio State. Right. Yeah, things are looking up. Right. Ohio State players are just – they just got all the swag, though, don't they? they, they it just they seems got, like in the last the five to ten years, all the Ohio State players, you know, sometimes they'll get banged up from time to time. Right. But they all have swag, and it seems like they all end up – it might take a year or two – find their way, and they make huge impacts on their teams. And that's why – 
when people draft people from Ohio State and Alabama, it works out so well. Yep. Big you know facts. I mean? Big facts. Alex Arma, no one knows who that is, right? One carry, one yard, touchdown. He's probably glad the he big got, full back. Right, got into the end zone. And then we got to see the future Hall of Famer, 8-8. Eight, eight. You know hey. who that is. Greg Olson. Hey, 88. When, right? when you're done down in, in Carolina, is this place up in Canton? Right. They got a nice jacket for you, my guy. Not an NWO jacket. Not the NWO. Right? Not an NWO jacket, but a gold jacket. Yes, the sir. Hall of Fame jacket. Six receptions, 76 yards, one touchdown. And I feel that was like the missing you know, key in the cog. That was the missing cog and the piece of the puzzle, yep. right? They were still rolling, but it, something just felt a little off. Then you get him back in the mix. And, and then that, DJ Moore starting to play better. Samuel as well. Samuel I mean, how are you going to play better? How are like, you going to stop that? Like I said, man, uh, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Panthers fans. I think the Panthers are on a three game winning streak. Well, last time they lost the game, was it to the Redskins? Yeah. Right. So they've so been about, about a three game winning streak. And Cam is six touchdowns, zero interceptions, and 100 and, I believe, 18 passer rating. That's amazing. Right. The last time he had a high passer rating over 90, he won the MVP. Right. And the, the Panthers went through the Super Bowl. So Right. Was that 2015? Yeah, 15. If, if we wrong, I'm pretty sure they'll let us know. Right. So, uh... Devin Funches, another name of one of the Big Cam, body. Cam's favorite targets, right? He didn't get in the end zone, but he still gives you production. Four receptions, 44 yards. They were led on defense by Captain Munderland and one of my favorite players of all time, not named Luke Keekley, but Thomas Davis. Hey, He's got the bionic that. knees. It don't matter how many ACL tears he I has. that cat was back, too. Eight tackles apiece for Munderland and Davis. And check it out, three sacks. So they had sack lunch three times at noon, right? And they had two picks. But like I said, Ryan Fitzpatrick, I mean, some of the throws were just horrible. You right. know what I mean? So as Panther you know, fans know, and as far as the secondary is concerned, you got to make those plays. If you don't make those plays, I mean, you're just li missing out on opportunities for your offense. Yeah, it, it, fix, fix Magic, he works in, in, in spells, man. He's hot and then he's cold. But when he's hot, man, he's really hot. Right. But when he's cold, he throws them interceptions. Right. It was kind of one of those games that this will kind of – tell the tale of the Bucks. Ryan Fitzpatrick, 24 for 40. Not very good. 243 yards, four TDs, two picks, but the two picks were horrible. Right. They got absolutely no running game whatsoever. Oh, so you man. can't have a balanced offense all year when you don't have a running back. We thought it might be Rojo yeah, from was, USC. Rojo right? was good, bro. But if you can't even get on the field and you got Peyton Barber and Jaquiz Rogers ahead of you, of course the Buccaneers are going to suck and they're not going to be a good team when you don't have a balanced offense. Bro, nothing against Jaquiz Rogers. I love I love Quiz going, going all the way back to when he was here with the Beavers. Right. And I, I like Peyton Barber. But they're not starters. So the fact that we picked up Peyton Barber in our fantasy team because right. we, we thought that he will be. Maybe get something. At least something. But, Rojo, you got more talent in your body than both of them combined. Yep. Why aren't you on the field? Maybe he can't pass protect. Man, this, I mean, this is that, frustrating that, for me, man. That's the only thing man. I can think of, that he doesn't know the playbook or he just can't pass protect the quarterback it's, on passing it's, plays. It's, it's, we, we eight games in, my God. They haven't worked with you enough. I don't know. I'm not sure, especially for a second rounder. Bro, That's what hurts the most, it, you know. That too, and it's just so much talent. Just think of the he's he's to me he's baby Jamal Charles. That was my nickname for him, Jamal right. Charles. But right. when you can't get on the field, I gotta snatch that back, my guy. Yeah, I don't you know. don't get that. You're no. still Ronald Jones now. <laughs> the I second, guess. no, no more Rojo. No Rojo, you're right. Ronald Jones. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Humphreys, he had a day, eight receptions. 82 yards. He went to the house twice. The best game for him all season long. He's been in kind of a forgotten name. Yep. He's, a, he's usually about their fourth or fifth option on offense, but Fitzmagic found him today. He gave him a, a, a little spark, a little, a little energy when they needed, especially that last one when he fought through and reached out for the touchdown. Right. That gave him a spark. O.J. Howard's been consistent all year. We talk about, you know, Zach Ertz. So bad it hurts Zach Ertz. Yep. We talk about Travis Kelsey. We talk about Eric Ebron as of Ebron. recently, right? Hey, they Ebron, a great the man years, this year. Right? O.J. Howard had a pretty nice year himself. Four receptions, 53 yards, two touchdowns. He at least helps him do something. Right. You know, obviously Alabama players find a way to get in the end zone. But this is the key. No running game, horrible defense, and between Godwin – D. Jax and Mike Evans, your three best wide receivers in right. the game, combined, 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 five receptions, 88 yards, zero TDs, and that's why you lose the hey. damn game. And to lose 42 28 with that, that's stat what line, I was just about to say. That's pretty amazing. That's what I was just about to say. You did, you got pretty much no production out of your top three wideouts, and you, you still only lost by 14. Chris Godwin, D. Jax, Mike Evans, five receptions. 
88 yards, too zero good. TDs combined? That's too good. All Come three on. of y'all are too good to get held down to five receptions between all of y'all. Y'all didn't even crack a hundo, man. That's what makes me kind of jealous of, like, you know, Sean Payton. Right. You know what I mean? McVay. You know, Andy Reid. Give me somebody that has some kind of knowledge. That, Give that me some Mr. Miyagi. Right. I need some help here because yeah. you got too much talent on the field Way to, to have those three guys give you five receptions. I mean, you got five receptions with one guy. Right. You might be like, oh, whatever, 88 yards. But out of those three, I mean, hey, you, you can't compete. My guy Humphreys almost had that, huh? Crazy, right? Adarius Taylor led the team with nine tackles. Levante David, my favorite player, eight tackles, second place for the team. Okay, the Vontae. team had two sacks, zero picks. Um, it's the story of the day. You know what I mean? Like I said, the Panthers are a great team. Yep. They're a playoff team. They're a Super Bowl contender. The yep. Bucks aren't. Yep. But maybe one day they can get a good coach and move it together. But I I like the Panthers. I, I really I, like it. I, I mean, like the Panthers, too. The Saints are great, you know, in the NFC South, three Fs. But I really feel if the, the Saints play the Panthers in the playoffs this year, you know, it could be a different story. It could be an upset, you the, know. The, 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 the. The Saints are more of the uh, the newer, up to date, you know, high scoring offense. You know, right. fun to watch. Right. The Panthers are, are kind of the, the the old school. You know, we want to run the ball, pound it out, play play great defense. Right. You know, both ways can work. Right. It just depends on maybe. Well, obviously, home field advantage is going to be big. Right. Right. Because you obviously you have the Rams have one loss. Right. The Saints have one loss. The Panthers only have two losses. It's not going to be crazy if the Panthers somehow, some way, some way catch up, way up and win the division. It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me to see the Panthers in the Northwest Sports Fanatics top five team. Oh, it might not. So, huh? so final score, Panthers keep pounding. 42, the Buccaneers 28. The Bucks go to three and five. And next up, you have a home matchup against a team that you might know, uh, the Washington is? Redskins, uh -oh. who are five and three, who are banged up a little bit with some injuries oh, last game. Man, I know real banged up. Really tough for you. That was and, tough. And the Panthers improved to 6-2. and two. Next up, you have a tough game. Uh -oh. This is not going to be easy for you guys, but if you win, not only do you get our respect, but you get the respect of everyone else in the league. They got? Thursday night versus the Steelers, 5-2. and two. And then really what the key stretch is going to be, Ooh. your whole season is in this next month and about a week, and five-week spread. Four of the next five games, Panther fans, are on the road. Ooh, All right, this tough. is tough. If you can come out and show how good you are, NWO for life, brother, and you can throw that leg drop on all those opponents and win at least three out of the five, five. four out of five, it's really going to help you not only try to contend for the NFC South crown, three Fs, yep. right? But people are going to start fearing you because not only do they know you're great at home, but if you can go play the Steelers, right, and then go four out of five on the road, that says a lot, especially in the NFC to me. Uh, that definitely says a lot. Right, absolutely. All right, there you guys have it. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit the thumbs up for your boy. And we will be back tomorrow with some more videos. For real this for time. You, for real this time. Uh, we'll probably knock out about three tomorrow. So, right. again, comment below which, which games y'all would like us to react to, and we got y'all. All right, absolutely. All right, I'm Marcus. This is my guy, Ryan. Only got one question for you. Who you know talks sports like us? Northwest Sports Fanatics. NWO for life, brother. Panthers, man. Yeah, keep pounding.